Hello and welcome to part 6. In part 6 we're going to take our basic circuit which is a summing amplifier connected to an inverting gain stage where the gain is set to 1 and now we're going to convert this into a waveform synthesizer and there's basic math that says that any waveform can be broken down into a collection of sine waves and the mathematical tool that we use to help analyze that is called Fourier analysis. In this example, what I'm going to do is create a sawtooth waveform generator. And it only takes a couple of modifications. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to modify a couple resistors. So we're going to set this one to 20K. And now we'll set R3 up to 30K. So that's all of the modifications that we need to make to the net to the design itself. And then we need to make a few modifications to the input sine waves and this is where the magic really is. So the first uh, sine wave is a fundamental frequency. We're going to set its amplitude at 3 and at 100 hertz. Our second waveform is our first harmonic. So again, we'll set that to 3 volts in amplitude, but now this will be 200 hertz. And then waveform 3 becomes our second harmonic. And again, 3 volts, but now this time 300 hertz. And really, that's all we need to do to change this into a sawtooth waveform generator. So now let's go ahead and run our time domain analysis. And you can see, as you can see, I'm not going to change the setup at all. We'll just go ahead and run the simulation. And here is our waveforms. So let's just see if we got close. Let's look at our output. And you can see there it is. We've created our sawtooth waveform. And of course you can, you know, level this out a little bit in terms of these stair steps, these bumps in the waveform by adding more and more harmonics. Uh, I think that depending upon your application you need to determine the number of harmonics that you need, how smooth that waveform needs to be. But it really is kind of interesting how you can take something so simple, uh, a couple of operational amplifiers and start to build up synthesizer circuits, uh, waveform generator circuits. And really that's the only point that I wanted to make in part six was how to modify this to be a more interesting circuit and then simulate it with hyperlinks analog. And again, this was all based off of a linear technology op-amp model that we found on the web on the linear technology website. We downloaded it, we made some tweaks to the symbol so it, it would be nice and pretty. And then we created some basic circuits and showed you some simulation. I hope you enjoyed this series on importing a SPICE model for hyperlinks analog.